Today we're gonna talk about what you do when you break your heart. Just kidding guys, of course not. We're gonna talk about what to do when you break a jump rope. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about when to replace your jump rope and if it's even necessary at all. The reason why we are answering this question is because, you know, recently we've answered a lot of questions on this channel. There's one question we have not answered sufficiently, which we get asked over and over again in the comment section of the YouTube channel and within our private Facebook communities. And that is, when do I replace my jump rope? Is there any way to repair my jump rope? Help my my jump rope isn't working right so we're like we're gonna answer all those questions today so the first thing we have to cover before getting into this video is what jump rope are we talking about so there's a lot of jump ropes out there and most jump ropes are not gonna be very durable and are gonna be jump ropes that you have to replace within like a month or a few months of using so we're gonna talk about the most durable jump ropes out there which are steel cable jump ropes that are surrounded by PVC so very similar ropes to what we use at Zendu Fitness the cross rope I said the cross rope. If you have a rope that is not a cross rope or is not a steel cable rope surrounded by PVC, this is not going to be relevant to you, but in general, I'd recommend getting the cross rope. It's linked below in the description and it's 10% off. Now, on average, ropes like this that we're talking about today will last you between six months and two years. This is such a wide range of time because it all depends on usage, so how frequently you're using the jump rope and where you are using the jump rope. We want you to think about jump ropes in the same way you think about a really nice pair of shoes. If you got the best, most high quality pair of shoes in the world, they're going to last you a while. You're going to enjoy the time wearing them. Them, but eventually they will wear out if you're wearing them every single day. It is unavoidable when you're wearing a nice pair of shoes or when you're using a jump rope consistently. So think about it the same way. There's no jump rope that lasts forever that we know of right now, but the jump rope that we recommend, the cross rope, is one that's going to last a long time. It's high quality and there are ways to make it last longer. So when do you need to replace your jump rope? So there's two answers to this question. The first answer would be just very simply, when you see the piece PVC on the jump rope break and you see the steel cable starting to come through, you might want to replace it at that point because if you're skipping rope and you hit yourself with the rope and the steel cable is exposed, that could be a cut, that could be blood, that could be death. You're not going to die, but you could you know, cut yourself, so be careful with that. So our recommendation is either just replace the rope, you don't have to replace the whole jump rope, but just the rope. You can keep the handles if you have a cross rope, or you have a second option. What you can do is get a spider spiral wrap that will link down in the description below and you can wrap up the exposed part of your rope that has a rip in it and you can use that to extend the life of your rope. Now it's not going to last forever but it's definitely going to help you use that same jump rope for a significantly longer period of time. Again that's linked below, it's a resource if you want it go grab it and you can use it when your rope rips. So I want to end this video by talking about a few things you can do to extend the life of your jump rope so it doesn't rip so you don't have to replace it or repair it. So the first thing. Be conscious about where you're jumping rope. Now, we love to jump rope all over the world. That's the beauty of jump rope is you can do it anywhere. But understand that if you are jumping rope on brick or cement or any kind of really harsh surface like that, it's going to wear out the rope faster. So if you are able to jump rope on rubber mats or rubber surfaces or hardwood floors or anything that's softer with more of a give, your rope is gonna last much longer. So that's how you can go from having a rope that lasts six months to having a rope that lasts more like two years. The second thing you could do is something we don't recommend at Zendu Fitness, which is just jumping rope less. If someone jumps rope for two hours a day, every single day, the rope's gonna last a lot less time than someone who is jumping rope three times a week for 20 minutes. Moral of the story, if you rip your rope, either replace the rope, get yourself some of that spiral coating to wrap up the rope with, which is linked below, and in general, try to be kind to your rope, stay off abrasive surfaces if you can. If you can't, that's cool too. Just replace your rope, live your life, have fun, jump rope, do the thing. And if you have any questions about anything we covered in this video or just about jump rope in general, drop them in the comments below. We're happy to answer all your questions in future videos. Thank you so much, Zendu Fitness. If you have not subscribed to this channel, do so now. Deuces. Keep it 100. It's your boy, Zendu Ep. 100. Deuces. Later.